Olá! Toda pessoa que conhece o neurofeedback e resolve que aprender e quer utilizar essa ferramenta, seja de forma profissional ou para treinar a si mesmo e a família, fica em dúvida sobre qual sistema eu devo utilizar. Uma dúvida frequente. No vídeo de hoje nós vamos ouvir o depoimento de uma pessoa da Europa, um alemão chamado Claudius, que vai contar da experiência dele de longa data trabalhando com sistemas e conhecendo e revendendo sistemas que medem o cérebro e treinam o cérebro. E por que, que ele resolveu trabalhar com a Brain Trainer e se tornar um distribuidor da Brain Trainer? É uma experiência interessante que ele vai contar, ele faz uma comparação importante entre esses dois sistemas e é muito esclarecedora, porque a gente vê, mesmo aqui no Brasil, que tem surgido alguns sistemas mais recentes, a gente vê as pessoas meio em dúvida sobre qual sistema eu devo escolher. Lógico que a gente vai falar aqui em nome da Brain Trainer, que é o sistema que a gente conhece, um sistema que tem 30 anos, é, treina o cérebro, quer dizer, o Peter começou há 30 anos atrás a aprender a treinar o cérebro para poder criar um, o, o, a Brain Trainer. Então, ele tem uma vasta experiência, temos muitos treinadores certificados no mundo, só no Brasil 300. Então, isso nos dá uma solidez e nos dá um lugar de conforto, porque temos muitos casos, se vocês forem olhar aqui nas nossas semanas do Neurofeedback, quantos casos de sucesso nossos treinadores obtiveram. O conselho que a gente pode dar para vocês quando estão decidindo qual sistema vão utilizar é pesquisem bastante, pesquisem muito, vejam qual a experiência dessa empresa, vejam se eles têm uma abordagem, um ensino voltado para a prática que vocês possam aplicar logo, porque o nosso objetivo na Brain Trainer é que o treinador, é, que a pessoa aprenda rapidamente, que já comece a aplicar a técnica, seja em si mesmo, em outras pessoas, é uma, uma abordagem muito prática, um ensino muito prático, para que a pessoa não fique gastando dinheiro, 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 tentando estudar, e não aplicar diretamente o sistema, né, a, a, a ferramenta. Então, eu espero que vocês aproveitem esse vídeo. Se tiverem dúvidas, a gente está à disposição, nós vamos estar tá, é, ao vivo com vocês no final da semana, no dia 22, para a gente conversar um pouco sobre isso, tirar algumas dúvidas que possam ter ficado, tá bom? Então, a gente está à disposição, e se vocês quiserem, a gente pode gravar outros vídeos explicando melhor Principalmente como funciona a Brain Trainer, não para criticar os outros, não tem nada a ver isso, mas para dizer qual é o nosso forte, né? Puxar a sardinha para o nosso lado, lógico, né? Mas estamos aí à disposição para ajudar vocês na hora da tomada dessa decisão, ok? Um abraço para todo mundo e aproveitem o vídeo. Hi, my name is Karen Duncan, and I'm here today interviewing Claudius Nagel. Uh, Claudius is a distributor for Brain Trainer International in Europe, and he has always been very analytical about things and has a, an inquiring mind. And so he has done some analysis that I will just go ahead and let him uh, tell you about. Oh, thank you for the compliment, Karen. <clears throat> well, first, I would like to simply share how I came to neurofeedback and to the brain trainer system. Um, I originally come from the area of brainwave entrainment. I was uh, using and promoting and selling these devices. And I always wanted to know, okay, I would like to see the effects on the brain. And so it was back in 2005 when I uh, purchased my first EEG device. I actually just wanted to measure the effects of these devices on the mm. brain. Um, and it was then back in 2014 when I got into contact with uh, Dörte Klein and uh, she invited me to take a course. Um, so I took that course and, and uh, they showed a lot of um, NeuroGuide. And NeuroGuide actually does this uh, QEG uh, assessment, those brain maps. You know, it's a um, normative database behind it, so it compares to the average person. And you can see differences of the um, brain waves of the individual in comparison to 
the average. And what I, what I especially liked about NeuroGuide was this symptom uh, checklist approach. You have a symptom checklist where you can say, okay, these are the symptoms, these are the issues of the person. And then it matches the brain um, map data and it puts you together a protocol of this. So it's actually a seamless approach from having an assessment to getting a neurofeedback protocol, which you can then train. So you have an expert system, which tells you what to do, even if yourself do not know what you are doing at all. <laughs> and uh, that was simply a, a point where I said, okay, that's, that's something where you can really get started really quickly. And so uh, let the software do the thinking for you. <laughs> and that actually uh, made me purchase such a system at that time which was quite expensive. Uh, it was about 10,000 euro just for the hardware. And you know what NeuroGuide costs. <laughs> yes, uh, just the assessment module is about, I think, 3,000 euro. And uh, if you want to train, you need the databases. So you have a few several thousand euro on top of that. In the end, I, I found myself spending around 30,000 euro for hardware and software. Uh, I actually uh, had use for it uh, for my wife. I actually took it for her because she accompanied me on the seminar and she actually experienced what neurofeedback can do to her. Mm -hmm. um, and I said, okay, if this is what, what helps you, we get it for you. So we um, worked with that for about a year. Um, yes, we did have quite some success. So um, as you know, I, I was always being a distributor for brain-related products uh, and had been for years. Uh, but uh, by that time, I said, well, I would like to have something like this, which I could offer to my clients, to my customers. But I do not have any customers who would be willing to spend 30,000 euro uh, for such a device. And I was asking myself, is there something out there on the market which has a similar approach, which gives you a brain-based assessment with a brain map and brain data and uh, helps you to put together a training plan uh, so mm -hmm. people who do not know much at least have a starting point to start with brain training? You know, not having this frustrating way of first learning for half a year before you can do anything, but to have something which helps you to get into start into practice right away, having success uh, and results from actually day number one. And um, someone gave me a hint that I should possibly take a look at Brain Trainer, which was called, uh, and actually at Peter, Pete Van Dusen, <laughs> the Pete Van Dusen system. Right. Pete <laughs> that's Van what Dusen. it was called. And uh, I took a look at the website and uh, actually said, well, that's quite cool. Uh, there was the TLC assessment at that time, which is now TQ7, right. which uh, helps you to measure your brain waves, do an assessment, puts out the brain data and uh, even a map. Um, and actually, does an automated training plane based on this data. And what I especially liked about it, what really excited me was that written report. The, the, summary, the, summary, report, yeah. the summary report. You know, NeuroGuide does have some report which you can output as well. They charge you $30 per report. It's a pay-per-use product. And uh, the TQ7 simply did it for free. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, It was simply being included. And what, what I really liked was the written report because what NeuroGuide does is it simply copies the most relevant data into this report without interpreting the data. And what I really loved about the TQ7 was that it actually tells someone who doesn't know much about the brain what his brain is doing and possibly doing not so perfectly and explaining the issues which are usually related to it. So it's something you can give to the client for him to read, and he's even able to understand what's going on in his brain. Mm -hmm. I don't know any other system which outputs such a report, which you can give to the client, and he understands what his brain is doing and the reason for his issues are being. Right. Yeah? 
that's great. And uh, not even Euroguide uh, does have yeah. it in this way. Yes, <laughs> great. great. I, I was so I would, and you have the automated training plan. So even someone who does not know anything about neurofeedback can simply click the button, <laughs> click the button, <laughs> training plan, <laughs> four channel or two channel, whatever device he has, he gets a training plan, which is based on his brain data and the questionnaire. Even the questionnaire is something which I have never seen in any other system the brain trainer has online, which is part of the assessment and um, which is included uh, in the whole process and the analysis. And that was actually being that seamless system that I was looking for, similar to NeuroGuide, but at a fraction of the cost, something like 3,000 euro, but not 30,000 euro. So it's a tenth of the cost. Uh, so I purchased it and of course I worked with it. Yes. Yeah. Actually said to Melanie, my wife, well, uh, instead of working with uh, NeuroGuide and um, the, the, the 19 channel system, which we have done for about a year at that time. Um, let's try a different system. I want to see what's, what's behind it. And uh, her response was that she actually had the feeling that quite some of the protocols were more intense for her than those that she was being used to do with NeuroGuide. With NeuroGuide, you were training to normal rather than uh, targeting... Um... Peak performance. Uh, peak performance. Responded to me that she was having the feeling that uh, training with uh, the brain trainer system, even though it just used four channels only <laughs> instead of 19. So you usually think, oh, if you use 19 channels, the training must be much more effective if you measure the complete mm -hmm. brain must be much more effective than if you just use four channels. And my experience is that even some simple one channel protocols can be extremely effective. Mm -hmm. uh, if, if you use them at the right place with the right metric uh, into the right direction. <laughs> that, that was actually the thing that I did not know to do. Uh, I did not know which metric shall I train at which position on the head mm -hmm. into mm -hmm. which direction and brain trainer actually gave me the approach without really being an expert on this um, to get a nice training plan with protocols in it which actually helped and uh, are being effective for the issues of the individual person but now let's see um, if I can compare both um, and that time I was having my mother as a trainee here as well. And we used uh, the NeuroGuide system also at the beginning. So it was just during the time of that process when I swapped over to a brain trainer system um, where I was doing a brain map on her again with the 19 channel uh, mm -hmm. cap. And while having the electrodes on her head, I said, okay, I can still put those electrodes into uh, um, the QS and uh, do the TLC assessment um, simultaneously to the NeuroGuide assessment. And so I actually compared both assessments with each other. I compared the data which uh, were being outputted. I just wanted to see what's behind it. Yes, and uh, they actually verified each other yeah it was like a test retest and um i said well this is very interesting and i was i was so keen on um on yeah getting a becoming a distributor for brain trainer because i was being so convinced in the, in the meantime because of the great tq7 uh, analysis and and assessment and that written report i said i want to have that in german and so we got that German version. But before doing that, uh, I was putting simply together a testimonial for Brain Trainer because I was so, yeah, really excited about uh, the complete system. For anyone who is being interested, uh, it's um, published on the Brain Trainer website. If we look here, you can see um, our website, braintrainer.com. And if you go to resources and then testimonials, and Claudius has a wonderful testimonial right here under Z-scores versus trainer's Q. And um, here is the brain trainer map. Um, 
So you might yes. want to talk a little bit about that. Well, that's uh, actually one of the pictures which uh, is being outputted by the brain trainer assessment by the TQ7. It's actually the topology. Um, um, actually what you call a brain map. Yes. Right. And so brain you map. See, yeah. You can see uh, which something which is very um, yeah, significant is this uh, extremely hot uh, prefrontal cortex um, in the frequency range between 25 and 38 hertz. So yes, high the red beta. dots on the yellow dots here um, in the frontals. Yes, in the frontals, correct. Uh, especially with eyes open and uh, tasks. If you scroll down, you can see the uh, brain map, which is being outputted by NeuroGuide. This is a NeuroGuide map. And you can also see those hotspots, those extremely uh, high activa highly activated frontals uh, yeah. in a high beta range. Yeah, so what you can see in the NeuroGuide is being um, actually confirmed by the TQ7 as well. So the data are quite similar. This is actually being um, uh, um, a Z-scored map. So it only shows the differences uh, against the norm, against what is normal or regarded to be normal. So everything which is white is regarded to be normal. What you can also see uh, is if you scroll down a little bit, um, I think the coherence values, they're being a little bit slower. Okay. Uh, that was being something being outputted by NeuroGuide, uh, which shows that there are very low coherence values all across the board, but uh, also in the alpha range. And uh, you can actually see this in the TQ7 assessment as well. Yes, all yes. those blue values, which uh, actually show that the coherence values are anywhere. Uh, coherence uh, or phase, yeah, but um, it's all blue. So TQ7 says these are very low values as well. So these things are confirming each other. Do I need a NeuroGuide uh, brain map, uh, which only shows pictures? What, what I really like about the TQ7 is that you do not only get pictures, but really valuable data. So interpreting such a NeuroGuide assessment um, is actually more difficult than um, the TQ7, which actually contains a lot of interpretation. Yes, uh, that, that's what I like about the TQ7 as well. So I think from the, from the quality aspect, um, the TQ7 gives me more information than uh, I have in a NeuroGuide assessment. This is that wonderful summary report. And um, yes. here it talks about the, um, the different reporting of the client themselves. Then here you have actually all the patterns the descriptions of the patterns and how they affect the individual themselves and the symptoms. So everything that's in red is basically describing their brain and, and what yes. the, what the issues are. And the blues, so, the general description. So the general you know description, right. About uh, the meaning of the metric. Yes. Right. So that's actually really extremely valuable. Yes. Yeah. So for instance, here it says high anterior alpha peaks are found at C3C4, CZ T3 T4, and is consistent with anxiety, a sense of being driven, even beneath a calm exterior. This is this is a system as seamless as NeuroGuide. You do the assessment, you get a training plan, you start training. Brain trainer software, which is a very nice software, especially for people who are technically not very much involved, they will find the brain trainer software to be handled much more easier and more convenient for anyone who's, who's new to neurofeedback and uh, maybe uh, not computer's best friend. He, he will actually prefer the new brain trainer software, which is really much more convenient to use. And what I also liked about uh, brain trainer, um, I really have to point this out, Karen. Uh, all those really heartful, warmth, and nice people, all of them, yeah? Very helpful, well, very supporting. Um, I wow. simply love you all. <laughs> if you just go back to the uh, website of Brain Trainer, um, what, really, what really helped me and what I can recommend, if you go up to the menu, there are in the resources uh, menu, 
there are two areas which I would like to recommend for all people who are being interesting. One of them is the answers section. Mm -hmm. Um, there's so much knowledge in this section. If you click yourself through all those links, it's a complete book in there. And uh, I have read myself through this information two times, not just one time. I read it two times. So it really gets saved in my brain, the information. This is a knowledge base. And I have learned so much from what is written here in this section of the homepage, much more than I could have ever learned in any uh, weekend course. Yes, uh, really. And uh, you can access it anytime. So I started with the TQ7 and uh, the automated protocols and started training without knowing much about the background. And then I started to learn from this page. Mm -hmm. And uh, it really gave me the deeper understanding, which I have today about neurofeedback. Then at some point in time, I did, of course, do the certification course. Um, that was actually the, the cherry on the top. Um, but this, this page, this is really so valuable. There's so much information in it, much more than you can find in any book. The information you find here is much, much more and much more um, valuable to, to get a real deep understanding uh, about the brain and what the brain is doing. And another point I would like to recommend to anyone who is uh, interested into, yeah, uh, getting more information is also in the resources part. Um, uh, the blog part. Uh, oh, Pete the blog. started, Pete started to, he actually wanted a to, to write a book about neurofeedback and this, uh, those blog um, uh, essays were meant to be collected one day. And this is really a, a very good uh, essay part about getting a deeper understanding about the brain and brain training uh, in general as well. So these are the two information parts on, on the website, which, which are really value a lot. Finally, or what I found appealing on the, about the complete brain trainer approach. In the early uh, times, there was some statement on the website that uh, Pete Van Dusen is the Johnny Appleseed of neurofeedback. I liked that uh, expression. Uh, uh, that was something that I simply kept in my mind. Johnny Appleseed was a guy who taught people how to plant, uh, I think, apple trees uh, in order to uh, custody themselves yeah, and, and uh, care for their own uh, issues. So he helped them to learn yeah. how to do yeah. it. And that's what actually what I liked about the brain trainer system. Yeah, it's, it's an approach where someone who is new to the complete topic, who would like to do brain training, who would like to do neurofeedback and doesn't know how to start, he will get all the information here on the brain trainer site uh, in the brain trainer system. That's always been Pete's approach to enable the unknowledgeable people who would like to do it, to enable them to do it and uh, yes. to, to help them learn it and help them help themselves. Um, and that's what really appealed me about the complete system. Yeah, it's, it really took neurofeedback out of the ivory tower. That's yes. really that's really the the point I always loved about the brain trainer system, mm -hmm. you know this uh, yeah giving the lot the knowledge and and the ability to the people who want to apply it to themselves. Mm -hmm.